Hey everyone, this is Larry Morris and the Financial Shaman. Um, just got off the phone with one of my clients and I wanted to make a short video because I, I got pulled into an old thought pattern because I'm empathetic and it's something I have to guard against. Or just give you a real close up and close that window. Um, I, uh, he, this person, client of mine, has been financially traumatized more than most. So let's go through it. He's had medical issues, and each time he goes to the hospital, the um, hospitals want to charge him thousands and thousands of dollars each time he walks right in the door. His copay has been he's screwed over on by the state of Nevada. Um, his insurance company doesn't want to pay for any of his medical bills, so they're coming after him or letting everybody else come after him, not keeping anybody at bay. Uh, the car company screwed him over, and he was in a class action, going to be in a class action lawsuit, and now they're trying to bribe him not to go through with it. Um, and how he was paying his debt, they were just taking the money and not putting it toward his principal. Um, and then he had the student loans, and the student loan companies were trying to screw him um, until I intervened on that one. But uh, and then he's uh, had a repossession of that same vehicle. Uh, and then what was the other one? Oh, his job laid him off because he's had medical issues, and because we're in the age of COVID, they don't want to have anybody on staff that has medical issues and they're trying to find ways to lay him off strategically so they don't get sued um so you know i'm listening to this and listening to this trauma after trauma after trauma and instead of staying in that state of complete unconditional love i got pulled right back in to be like oh my god what do you think about money what do you think about financial institutions um and he just laid it all out there. He's like, I, I effing hate him, you know. I everybody's trying to get money from me, and I don't have it. And they're just everybody's there to take advantage. And he's he went on and on and on about the medical stuff. And I I went right into it. I let myself um, feel that pain and that frustration and that um, loss of love for the fellow human man. Complete separateness is what it feels like. Um, to be that taken advantage of it to be a victim but it's been so long since I've experienced that um, I say so long I mean it's been you know probably a year or two but because um, I used to live that I know that feeling I know exactly what he's going through and it triggered me right back to have that self-righteous victim mentality and just completely have hate and disdain for everyone that's involved in the financial world. And so um, the immediately the first thing I had to do for myself so I could then do for him was to see the gifts in all of it. To see the fact that he set all of this in motion. You could say through his vibration or through his um, willingness to be this courageous. I mean, what kind of depth of courage would it take to overcome all of this? Or one of my friends says uh, it this way, who would you have to become to overcome this kind of adversity? Not only medical issues, which literally keep you in bed and completely low energy, but all of the financial issues, all of the, you know, every turn. So I had to remind myself, I had to come back to the state of unconditional love for him and for the situation and for the universe. Because I live in an unconditionally loving universe. And to live there, I had to see each one of these as gifts that are ready to take him to the next level when he's ready. So that's what we had to work on. I had to work on first, thankfully quickly, um, and then come back to help him work on it. And what I mean by that is, what would you have to become? I could see him as extremely resilient when he overcomes these things. And I like to say it like this, um, unprocessed trauma is like a gift waiting to be unwrapped. Because when you fully process it, come out the other side and see the gift, you become more. 
become ready for the next level. They be, these things become stepping stones to an even greater reality. And so I can see that for him. I'm holding the space for that. But my question to you is, are there traumas in your life? Financially is usually what we're talking about here, but you know, medical leads to financial in this case. So are there traumas in your life that you haven't processed yet, that you do not see as a gift that's waiting to be unwrapped? Go ahead and share in the comments below. I'd love to help you or just give you an outside perspective. See you there.